What do people really mean? Yolanda, hi. Hi, Mari. How are you? Fine, thanks. Um, is anyone sitting here? No, have a seat. Thanks. So, how have you been? Oh, you know, busy. I've got school and work, and I'm getting ready for my brother's wedding next month. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a huge wedding, and oh, excuse me, uh, Nancy, over here. Hi. Nancy, this is Yolanda. She works in the library. Yolanda, this is my housemate, Nancy. She teaches English here. Nice to meet you, Yolanda. You too. Well, listen, actually, I I've got to go. I have to be at work in ten minutes. I'll see you soon, Mari. We'll go to a movie or something. Sure. How about Thursday night? Uh, I have to check my calendar. I'll call you, okay? Okay. See you. Ah, oh, I don't understand Americans. Huh? Did you hear what she said? I'll call you. We'll go to a movie. But every time I try to pick a specific day or time, she says she's busy. She has to check her calendar, and then she doesn't call. Mm-hmm. Why do Americans say things they don't mean? They act so nice, like they always say, "How are you?" But then they keep on walking and don't even wait for your answer. They're so, how do you say it, two-faced? I know it seems that way sometimes, Mari, but it's not true. It's just that for Americans, friendliness and friendship aren't always the same thing. What do you mean? Well, as you know, Americans can be very open and friendly. Like they invite you to sit down, they ask you questions, they tell you all about their families. So naturally, you think they're trying to make friends with you, but actually, friendship, real friendship, doesn't happen so quickly. So when people say "How are you?", they're just being polite. They don't really care. Not exactly. The thing you have to understand is that "How are you?" isn't a real question. It's more like a greeting, a way of saying hello. Aha! I get it. And have a nice day is just a friendly way to say goodbye. Exactly. Now you're catching on. But I'm still in the dark about Yolanda. Does she want to be my friend or not? It's hard to say. Maybe she's just too busy these days. I guess you'll just have to be patient. Hmm. That's good advice, I guess. Thanks. What do you like to do for fun? Come in. Hi. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Great. Thanks. Hey, I burned you some new CDs. Cool. Hi. You were at our show last night, right? Yeah, I was. Sorry, Mari. This is Dan. Dan, this is Mari. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, let me get that. I'll be right back. Okay. So, Mari, did you have a good time at the club last night? Yeah, it was pretty wild. What did you think of our band? Well, your music is great for dancing, but to tell you the truth, it was kind of loud. I guess I really prefer jazz. Do you go to concerts much? No, not very often. I can't afford them. They're so expensive. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, what do you like to do for fun? I love to eat. I love going to different ethnic restaurants and trying new dishes. What's your favorite kind of food? Well, Japanese, of course. What about you? Well, I'm not crazy about sushi or sashimi, but I really like Mexican food. Ooh, I can't stand beans, and I don't like cheese. Uh, what about Indian food? I don't care for it. Too spicy. Um, do you like American food? You know, hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries. Yuck! 
all that fat and salt and sugar? We don't see eye to eye on anything, do we? Well, let's see. What's your opinion of modern art? There's a wonderful show at the county museum right now. To be honest, I don't get the modern stuff. I prefer 19th century art. You know, Monet, Van Gogh, Renoir. Hmm. How do you feel about sports? Are you interested in football? American football? I hate it. Basketball? It's okay. How about tall musicians with curly hair? <laughs> it depends. Okay, I got it. How about tall musicians with curly hair who invite you to a movie? Science fiction? Sounds great. Finally, we agree on something. To clone or not to clone? Your dog is so adorable, Nancy. How old is he? Eleven. Wow, that's pretty old. Yeah, I just love him so much. I don't know what I'll do when he's gone. Well, you can clone him, you know. Clone him? You're joking, right? Yeah, of course. But actually, it is possible. Scientists in Korea have cloned a dog, you know. I saw a picture of it in Time magazine. Really? I've heard of cloned sheep and mice and rabbits, but not pets like dogs. Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, there is a company in California that offers a pet cloning service. For $15,000, you can have an exact copy of your pet. That's so weird. Actually, it kind of scares me. Pretty soon, they'll start cloning people and then... <laughs> Nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think cloning will be used in positive ways. Like what? Like saving endangered species. For example, scientists could save the giant panda and other animals before they become extinct. Oh yeah, and another thing. I heard that scientists will be able to clone body parts. You know, just grow a new heart or a new tooth. Uh-huh. That's what stem cell research is all about, which is similar to cloning. A lot of medical problems are going to be solved with that for sure. Well, I'm all for that, especially if it can help us live longer. Or if they can help your dog live longer, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> A baby shower. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Sharon. Look what I got in the mail. Hey. Hi, Mari. Join us for a baby shower honoring Nancy Anderson, April 5th, 11 a.m., hosted by Sharon Smith and Carolyn Freeman. Oh, good. You got the invitation. So, can you make it? I think so, but, well, what is a baby shower exactly? You know, it's a party for a woman who's going to have a baby. Um, it's like a welcoming ceremony for the new baby. It's a party? Then why do you call it a shower? Because the custom is to shower the woman with gifts for the baby. Get it? I see. Are you invited too, Jeff? No way. No man allowed. Really? Well, not exactly. Lots of baby showers include men these days, but... Traditionally, showers are hosted by a woman's girlfriends or female relatives, and they're only for women. Hmm, but isn't Nancy and Andrew's baby due at the end of May? And this invitation says April 5th. Well, yes. The custom is to have a shower before the baby is born, when the woman is seven or eight months pregnant. Very interesting. And everybody brings a gift? Right. Something for the baby. You know, toys or clothes or something for the baby's room. Okay. The invitation says it's for lunch, so... Yeah, we'll have lunch and afterwards we'll play games. Games? What kind of games? Girl games. Silly games like bingo or guessing games or baby trivia games. And the winners get small prizes. It sounds like fun. It is. 
And then at the end of the party, there is usually a cake with baby decorations. And then the mother to be opens her presents. While the guests are still there? Sure. That's my favorite part. Everybody gets to see the gifts. And go, ooh, ah. And see how happy the woman is. Wow, that's so different from our custom. In Japan, we usually don't open a gift in front of guests. Really? That is different. Well, what kind of gift do you think I should get for her? She's registered online, so you can see what she's already gotten and what she still needs. Would you like me to write down the internet address for you? Sure, that would be great. Uh, is there anything I can do to help with the party? Maybe do the flower arrangements or something? Oh, thanks, but it's not necessary. Everything is all taken care of. Just come and have fun.